my all the ear bloop in my ears drum that's the best way I can, I can put it like a slap in my ears from behind me baby girl let the eyes pray give you all what your life is I know what I say give me baby girl another night to another video um if you just stopped by for the very first time uh, let me get the formalities out of the way my name is jody and i focus mainly on fashion beauty and lifestyle however from today's title of the video you'll be realizing i'll be doing a story time and it's not one that i am excited to share but i'm going to share it regardless because our experiences happen not only for us to learn from but from other people to learn from it as well so without further ado let's get the formalities out of the way just hit that subscribe button thumbs up the video and just comment down below just let me know that you are here watching so this story time as you realize I said it happened not once but twice them said three times that, that a charm it not gonna happen a third time but anyway let me just jump right into it so a couple years ago I used to work I'm um, like in an office setting and stuff like that I was just getting the job and stuff like that never used to drive or anything like that you know i have to take the public transportation to and from work so now where my workplace was located you have where where i'm living to get to my workplace you have to kind of take one bus come off at one stop and then take from that stop to my office so the stop in between now was kind of like a volatile area you don't really want to be in that area with any valuables or anything like that you just want to be on your guard and stay alert i was aware of this so i tried you know every precaution to remain safe I remember one specific morning I was actually on my way to work so now I'm taking the bus from home to this point by the way guys if you live in Jamaica this is actually three miles so I'm coming from Portmore to three miles and then from three miles down to Spanish Town Road so I uh, took the bus from Portmore and uh, when I, while I was on the bus uh, it's like I was uh, I got a phone call uh, so when I unzip my handbag to take the call i don't know what i did but i broke off the zipper like the zipper was never break off it's spoiled it was spoiled so i at the time i had on like um uniform my uniform had actually was a jacket and it had pockets on the side so i'm there now after i answer the call now i said to myself so you know what i'm not going to put back the phone in the handbag you know and try to force the zipper because i said the zipper spoiled i don't know what i did anyhow i ended up because i said to myself that if the phone ring again i don't want to miss no phone call <laughs> so i ended up putting the phone in my pocket which would have been i have on a blazer or a jacket so i put it in my jacket pocket go on now step out real at girl come off for three miles and i walk now for go take the other um transportation now to get to my office so by this time now it would have been uh what you call it you know um juta the um juta bus yeah so the name costa bus the big one so i went on it so when i went on it now there are so you like you have the driver you have the driver you have the passenger seat and then behind immediately behind the driver now you have a uh, um be seat behind the driver and there is a middle seat that you drop down right so persons were all in beside the driver behind the driver so only the seat that was able to fold down that was available at the time so when i went in the doctor said your man so want to sit right there's a baby i'm gonna go up there and sing and so there was a man sitting in the seat now the bigger seat which is behind the driver so he now because you might have the handbag and everything now him ease up there they, they, they fold out seat for me and lift up the back and so I was able to sit and I said to him and looked and I said thank you so much right and he said yeah man no problem man and when I reach now for my stop now I call bus stop and I come off really get a step off when I step out at the bus I come so no phone by the way I skip something I skip a part when I was coming out of the bus the same gentleman who put on the seat for me he took it up when I said one stuff and whatever and I got up took up the seat and said no man it's alright and then he took up the seat for me eased up and I came out of the bus and when I come out of the bus I said I'm a piece of light I'm a piece of light I'm a feel no phone phone gone 
so apparently this so-called nice gentleman i'm not sure if it's when i came in the bus somebody was saying it's when i probably came in the bus him just when i was sitting down him just dip him and down in my pocket i wouldn't feel that there was anybody in my pocket and or probably when i was getting up him just go in and just come him hand just come up with the camera pay him the mind he might have put down the seat for me and i took up back the seat for me anyway phone gone so I said to myself, so you know what, thank God, because my brother them pick me and take it, than for somebody hold me up and take it. Then for say, not power wood before you say anything. Anyway, rewind, fast forward, my bad, fast forward to this year, June 2021. So now, I am on the road, working driving and all these things so everybody knows crossroads yeah caribou what else that cross for crossroads known for them said the best kfc yeah so i'm working in crossroads so usually when i'm working in that area i know it is a hot spot like a criminal area like you have off a tree and downtown those um, crowded towns are usually hot spots for criminals so i am always over the years always try to be on the alert stay on my guard always but this one day them say never let your guard down this one day i actually left my bag with some of my personal belongings with one of my customers so i went down now into the town i was i had the the company phone with me because you know i work me i work so i had the company phone with me but i didn't have it where it was visible i had it like tucked away yeah and on vibrator in case it a ring where it was tucked nobody wouldn't even hear it that's how bad it was and i went and i did my rounds walking up and down in the town and then coming back to my vehicle i am literally looking at my vehicle so you said, oh, close, I was to my, back to my car now, done and everything, I'm going back to my car. When uh, the phone rang, when the phone rang now, feel the phone ringing, I said, all right then, I can't take the call, because I'm close to my vehicle, I actually I'm going to so go back now, I can't look on the camera, I tell you there. By the time I took out the phone, and not even two minutes, I was on the phone for my all ear, bloop! You know, my ears drum. That's the best way I can, I can put it. Like a slap in my ears from behind me. And by the time me like could I catch and realize what happened, I just said the man pan one back. I never know if a man or a woman, but somebody was in a black. Yes, a man. And the person just ride off on a bike. You heard me. You heard me. Big up broad daylight. This is now probably some minutes to five. Prime time when people are come from work. Busy place. Hectic. Listen. You heard what I said. So I am now walking. On that stretch all up road. To go to my vehicle where I was parked. And answer the phone. And from nowhere I heard a slap in my ears. Because that's how I could describe it. Because I guess he was grabbing the phone. So it's like it's a. Just to set him grip the phone. I said look here. I put the ear to the ears for, 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 for one good look a minute. The ears would have ring. So I don't know if you guys remember. Like a couple of vlogs ago. That vlog didn't even do so well. Because my energy was so low in that vlog. When I was saying that I couldn't even eat nor sleep. It bothered me. I felt so violated because me and said me always try to be alert and the one time I let my guard down the man just come slap me in my ears and take out the phone and it's not even so the phone gone you know because the phone can always be replaced but what I probably opened myself to this man could have probably come up behind me and stab me for the phone him could have shoot me for the phone but thank god he was chosen us you know grab and just and and even is um like i don't know if his finger or what is or if the earring that i had on it actually like scrape 
so I had like a script right here and like my eyes were I don't know if his fingernail or what catch me in my eyes or if it's my hand I don't know because I had my hand on the phone like this and when he just you know and grab it and the man so as I said he came up came up from behind me I don't want this video to, to be too long you know so as I said he came up from behind me I didn't hear the bike so it seemed as if he turned off the bike switch off the bike and like push the bike so when him grab the when him go grab the phone now him me only heard the vroom, like the bike start and him grab it and just ran off and the lady under the bus stop said jesus christ i think you think you fool my shock so till i was a nervous wreck i had some braids in my hair at a, a, it was a specific color when me reach, reach home every single one of them cut out <laughs> listen me i laugh now but it wasn't like that i felt even when i, I, I remember the night when i was sleeping me i said then suppose the man did just was a attend i feel like say him should have stopped me for the phone or him, him could have even walk him up to me probably i would have even even though sometimes you said that you, if you, you picture yourself in a scenario and you said but if i did me i wouldn't fight you i just give me something but your natural instinct your natural way in a your yes sir is to always resist so i say you know as a good thing him do it to him do it as much as oh i was left so traumatized and so violated and so unsafe on my job um my kind of all right so i saw him decide for do it so my experience i'm just sharing with you as i say it's not just for me alone to learn from but to, to help you guys to stay on your alert on your guard because me I said the one time I let my guard down because I so almost aware of so almost the students the poor micro student them they must go through it all the time and the one time I let my guard down because I was seeing I was so close to my vehicle I was looking at the car so me I said all right then it's safe to answer the phone but it wasn't safe then the bible said when you think it's peace and safety sudden destruction you better believe it so this is not to scare you guys it's not to frighten nobody no not like that this is just to share so you guys can always be alert to know what is it that they're doing and up to this now we know that we're still in like the pandemic thing so a lot of biker a lot of bike men are on the road i mean i tell you every time i hear a bike it trigger me it's like every time now me hear a bike me i look i look left right and center for see if somebody i come grab something again but listen guys <laughs> things out here in the normal you know <laughs> in the normal so that is all i have to share as i said i don't want the video for too long 12 minutes is good yeah so please guys remember if you haven't already subscribed subscribe if you have any experiences that you'd like to share i'd love to hear your experiences in the comment let me see what kind of um ingenious ways these thieves are coming up with yes and definitely thumbs up the video so that somebody else and of course share it with you know a colleague and especially for us um females that sometimes are the most vulnerable and the children as well so thank you guys so 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 much for sticking around if you have made it here thanks for watching until next time guys what good baby girl let the ice break, break.